Hello everyone. Welcome to another life-changing episode of Madness Podcast. In this episode, we are discussing about creating a better future. Creating a better future is not a one-stop wonder. It is a process and as with any process, you need to know where you are now before you can begin creating a better future. Step 1. Take an inventory of yourself. Creating a better future for yourself and your family first requires you to ask yourself, what it is that gives my life meaning, purpose, and joy. Consider your talents and your abilities. What makes you smile the instant you think of it? It is not difficult to determine what your special ability, gift or interest is. Simply ask yourself, what do I look forward to more than anything else in the world? In creating a better future, what would you like to do, or to do more? Step 2. Use your imagination to change those step 1 ideas into mental pictures. You've decided to take action form a vision or, if you prefer, a daydream around them, your imagination and daydreams are very closely interlinked. In doing, you are doing what every child on earth has the power to do at will. Simply use your imagination to create your reality. Start dreaming of all of the ways in which you can spend your time doing what you love. Don't worry about making sense at this stage, just dream as if you were a child again. Step 3. Set goals. Once you have decided what you want to do to create a better future for yourself by developing a vision, the next step is to set goals that will serve as stepping stones towards the fulfillment of your vision. Goals come in many guises but basically there are three types, short-term goals, within 12 months, medium-term, 12 months to 5 years, and long-term, over 5 years, you must set goals for all three types, and you must write them down so you can regularly check against them. You can start setting these goals by asking yourself questions like, where do I want to be in 12 months, 5 years, 10 years? What do I want to have accomplished within the same periods? Ultimately, ask yourself what kind of legacy do I want to leave behind? Make sure your short-term goals are realistic, clear, meaningful, well-defined, and make sure your goals excite you. Step 4. Begin to enjoy the journey. As you begin a new day, always keep in mind everything that you have written down and envisioned for your better future. Ask yourself, is what I'm doing now getting me nearer my goal? Don't expect to do the impossible straight away. You won't make a million dollars just by dreaming of it. You should constantly check against your short-term goals, they should be realistic, and review all your goals at least every six months. Of course you will still have to go to work today, possibly in a job you would rather not have, and deal with the same problems you had yesterday, and doing all the things you have to do that you would rather not be doing, but your focus is now on the future and by taking small steps towards your future you will steadily move towards your goal. It reminds me of a very old joke, how do you eat an elephant? The answer, if you haven't heard it, is one bite at a time. If you really want to begin creating a better future, start biting. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you had fun listening to the podcast. Never forget to subscribe to keep listening to this kind of life-changing podcasts. You can inspire us to keep doing this kind of good work by giving a thumb up or a feedback about the video in comments. Have a good day.